Today on Grantham. What does it sound like to be shot at? But more specifically, what does it sound like to be shot at by subsonic rounds? Aaron, what is a subsonic round? A subsonic round is a round that does not break the sound barrier. What is the speed of sound? 1100, a little, it's like, it, at, at sea level, it's about 1084 feet per second. I barely graduated high school. Yeah, uh, Charlie, where you, Charles, why are you? Hey, what's up? Did Charles? I don't, yeah. Where have you been, Charles? I had to wash my uncle's hair. <laughs> <laughs> so why this is important is you never know where you're gonna be shot at. Now we've talked about being shot at by supersonic calibers, which is gonna be more common. Yes, but depending lives. on the type of uh, federal agent that you may be going up against right. uh, in, in Minecraft or Arma or whatever, you might be dealing with these subsonic rounds. So it's important to do know what they sound like. And for quick reference, subsonic rounds are super quiet. Call your hits! It's going to be important to understand the sound signature. Today on Grand Thumb, what does it sound like to be shot at? By subsonic rounds, let's go. But before we get into it, we of course have to thank the biggest sponsor of the channel. The biggest sponsor of the channel is who? Self-deleting Italians. The, the Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, they are the people to go to. Uh, we love them, because why? Because they just, there's no Italians left. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, we love them. They support our channel. They let mm -hmm. us do all this crazy stuff. So we love them, right, Charles? Yep. And who can we not forget, Micah? Primary Arms. They have some of the best optics and candy west side of the Mississippi. That's fact. Yep. If you type in code Mississippi, you nothing will happen. We love them. They have awesome optics and everything at great prices. Go and check them out. And of course, if you're doing any type of dry fire, we Highly recommend Mantis. Why is that, Charles? Uh, because it makes a difference in your actual shooting capabilities. Do you do a lot of dry fire, Charles? I do. And you love the Mantis system. Yeah, they're pretty neat. There you have it. And of course, unlike the camera this is filmed on, unlike Charles' wife, AAC ammunition is made in the US of A. Go and check them out. We love them. They We are actually shooting all AAC ammunition today. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. Yeah, we're feeling very complete. The, the repertoire is getting quite large, which is, can you say that? Like your repertoire is getting Rep big? Repertoire? Yeah, yeah, what's wrong with that word? <laughs> so right now we're at 50 yards away from the shooters. We are behind approximately 2 million cubic uh, feet of uh, earth to protect us. We're completely safe from my insurance company. And uh, we're gonna be hearing what it sounds like. We're gonna be starting with 22. Then we'll be stepping it up to 45 suppressed and unsuppressed. Then nine millimeters, you can hear a supersonic round. Finally, 300 black and then 8.6, which is our largest uh, subsonic round. I'm very interested. Obviously, we had a lot of cracks with the uh, the supers. With this, we should hear a much different sound. All right, first up, we have the 22. We'll give them a little uh, probing fire. We do just a little bit of probing. All right, we are in defilade. Good to go. See if I remember where they are. Range is hot. It sounded like little cute bow bumblees, dude. Out of Copy. Go ahead and push over to 45. The reason why we're wearing armor is because uh, Aaron pretty much has the same channel as us. And all of his jokes, all of his interests are the same as mine. So really, I'm the only one standing in the way of his fame. Uh, so if Aaron were to eliminate me, and, well, not Charles, because honestly, he probably needs him. He's not funny enough without him. Thanks. Then pretty much he has free reign to expand as much as he wants to. Isn't that true, Micah? Yeah. Yeah. Range dot. UMP 45 ACP. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Rounds were perfect. That is. That's terrifying. enough. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm just going down further. Suppress 45. Range is hot. Suppress 45 ACP. LWRC. SMG 45. Yo, getting shot, like, Tarkov players, it's real. Like, you just be screwed. Yeah, Tarkov is real war. Dude, even at, even at 50, you could hardly even hear that. MP5. MP5, this is gonna be super. Hot. 
Nice. Little crack. That crack scared me. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Yeah, so you can hear the distinct difference between a supersonic round and a subsonic round there. I think that's always really interesting. What about you, Micah? Yeah. Are you having a good time? I'm having a good time. <laughs> 300 black? Yep. I'm interested to hear your 300 black. 300 black. Range is hot. All right, here we go. 300 black. All right, we're doing the 300 black. What was that? What was that? They hit Let's the skip head. over there. Round complete. Copy rounds complete. That little like whiz? Yeah. It hit something ricochet, dude. Yeah. 8.6, uh, elevate uh, your your shots. That is a spicy boy. Yeah. Whoa. Copy, rounds complete. Range cold, go ahead and move to 100. Range cold, we're gonna move back to the 100 yard mark. You know, I'm not sure what I expected with the subsonics compared to the supers, but that was a way different experience compared to the supersonics. Yeah, that was sketch. The the 45 is probably the sketchiest, but you know what, you know what it reminded me of? What? Is uh, those like plus size step moms that ride the go-karts in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> They're just kind of. But what's crazy? It's it's all the same speed, right? These are, I mean, except for, with the exception of the nine millimeter. But these are all, you know, going, you know, approximately about a thousand feet per second. But they sound very different. The forty five sounded pretty terrifying. The three hundred sounded very rifle like. If you had to catch one, what well, which one would you choose? I take a forty five, dude. A forty five? I catch a forty. Well, a twenty two. Never mind. Fuck that. I'll take yeah, twenty two. No, you can't say that because that's what I chose. <laughs> these these rounds are 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 far more uh, sketchier sketchiness. So 50 was really interesting. I thought we'd hear a lot more even from the suppressed shots, but um, being in cover, I could not even hear the suppressor. Like the, I, all I heard is the whiz of the shots incoming. That was crazy. Whiz and the dump. Yeah, and the impacts into the dirt, which is pretty far away. You know what it reminds me of? What? That movie with Mark Wahlberg. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I no, have no, no idea no, what no. you're talking about. It's a sick movie. It's where he tricks his girlfriend's dad into getting arrested or something like that, I don't remember. So we're going to be shooting at 100 and um, same exact lineup, 22 all the way through 8.6. Very interesting. We are in defilade. All right. We're at the 100 meter mark. We're going to send them some 22. Going hot. Forty-five incoming. <laughs> That's God's heaviest load right there. Even the report from uh, unsuppressed 45. I was going to say, man, that's quiet. that's quiet. Was that not suppressed? That was not That suppressed. was unsuppressed. Oh, that's gnarly. All right, ready for suppressed 45. All right, next up, 9 mil. Ready for 9 mil and defilade. Next, we have unsuppressed 9 millimeter from 100 yards. Mike, I'm going to send you unsuppressed 9 millimeter at 100 yards. It's getting a little slower. I, don't, I didn't even hear a crack. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of mid. It's starting to, get, starting to get a little slow. Ready for 300. 
This is a classic that the SMG 45 would fail. Yes. All right, suppressor engine blackout. Cool. 300 black. Copy and rounds complete. Ready yeah, for 8.6. Yeah. Is menacing, bro. The fact you cannot hear it at all. That's that's some deadly shit right there. Yeah. Uh, now we well we do know also that shooting three hundred. Okay. Eight point six coming in. Range is hot. Eight point six inbound. Why? Why no? Let's go. That would suck. It's such a weird whistling sound. Copy, rounds complete. We are coming out of defilade. Range cold, range cold, range cold. Micah, did you hear that 8.6, dude? I could hear that thing just... It's, well, it's the biggest round, dude. Right. I don't know if he even lost speed because that thing's got crazy BC. It carries its speed for a long time. That's I think true. it's I think it's as huge. And it sounds like it actually whistles as it's going through the air. Like you can yeah. hear that round from muzzle all the way to impact. That was the craziest round I've ever heard. Like 45 menacing, 300. 300 it, is the scariest because you can't hear it. Yeah, dude, all. legitimately, I could not hear that 300 firing. Like that, what's weird is the 8.6 was quieter at the ear, but I could hear that round coming in. Like I was, I would know I'm being shot at. With 300, it'd be kind of hard to tell at times. Okay, Micah brought up a really good point because we were talking about what we just heard. Tell the audience what you just said. 300 blacks gotta be the scariest because we are on a ranch, dead quiet, no wind, no one's talking, there's no activity, no cars, no nothing. And we could barely hear the 300 black. Thanks. Add wind, add a car driving by, add a dog talking. barking, anything. You do not know that round is coming at you. Yeah, that, that was the thing that's wildest to me. And I, I just, I keep like thinking back to it because the 8.6, when we were shooting it during that review, we were like, oh, there's like, it's so quiet. But that round is fucking loud. That 300, dude, you're just there's nothing. Your buddy to catch a round, you'd be like, "Oh, what happened to Jeff? Did he have a Did he have a stroke? Is he okay?" So uh, we're now at the two and 300 yard location, and this will be the <laughs> the end um, of the test coming forward. So, given how crazy and psychotic these subs sounded at 100, um, doubling that distance and then tripling that distance, I'm very interested to uh, see what happens. Charles, that's very interesting. It's very interesting you say that because I have a s similar opinions. <laughs> Perfect. We're at 200. Okay, so the Volkwarzen 22. Guys, a better 22 handgun does not exist. I will put 22 man to shame. Weird. We are in defilade. Love it. Perfect. <laughs> what a wild sound. Nine mil, two hundred meters. Round complete. Three hundred blackout is next. Dude, nine mil sounds pretty spicy. Yeah, uh, especially the report. What was it? What was barrel length? Well, then, the MP5? Oh, dude, what is it, nine inches? No, I'm totally wrong. What's Why it? did you smile? Uh, I don't know, dude. Why did you smile at <laughs> nine inches, dude? <laughs> Let's go back you to talking about nine inches. <laughs> <laughs>
Round's complete. Okay, 300 black. No way. What? Michael, look at the look at the impacts. Good elevation. Repeat. Good elevation. Continue. No way. I would die. Yeah, if you got hit by a bullet, you would die. If if a boy did this to me. Copy, rounds complete. Oh, yes. Excellent. He's stuck there. Copy, we are ready for 8-6. 300 is crazy. That That's... was a weird little... I can't wait for 8-6, dude. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's always a fear with this is like, did I kill my buds? Flash on time. I saw the round! I saw the round! <laughs> Holy shit. Copy, round's complete. We are coming out of defilade. Range cold, range cold, range cold. Let us know when you are located to your new position. 8.6 is crazy. 300 was quiet, Micah. Super Even quiet. at this distance, it did not destabilize. It was both of them i mean but 300 is so quiet super sketch super that eight six okay so the the loudest are still the 45s mm. like those are super loud rounds they must be because of they're just just a cone just a what do you call that a bullet <laughs> <laughs> yeah your classic bullet shape it just it, it does it's not aerodynamic so it's just like slight it's not even slicing the air it's just like fighting the air all the way through compared to like the 300 where it's just like it's those, spitzer. like those models you see on posters nowadays, are just fine for that, bro. <sighs> the big ones. What is he talking about? <laughs> Next up, we have twenty-two at three hundred, uh, which is about as far as twenty. As twenty-two being fired. This is just iron sights. He's firing with. Do you think he could get a, hit a cocaine at seven hundred yards? Oh. I hit. Round complete. Copy rounds complete. That was cool sounding. That was super cool. 45, 300 meters. That little. He ate the barn. <laughs> Did you? Copy rounds complete. Yeah, 45 suppressed. Elevation check. Good elevation. Sending one. Good elevation. Copy rounds complete. Stand by for nine millimeter unsuppressed. Even that's taken a bit. Stand by for 300 black. Copy. Ready for a 300 black. Nine millimeter, dude. Out of an MP5. What does it, what does it say about MP5? MP5 has seen more brains than a brain surgeon. <laughs> have you never heard that?
Did you hear Rounds that? complete. Copy. Rounds complete. Stand by for one. Holy shit, that was so 300 quiet. 300 black. Got it, dude. Yeah. Dude, 300 black is terrifying. So those are 220. Eight, Go for 8-6. Elevation check. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Good elevation. Continue. Copy. Rounds complete. We are coming out of defilade. Permanent. Range cold. Range cold. Range cold. Cease fire! Cease fire! First off, check out my man's drip right here. <laughs> Yo, Micah, what was the scariest round we got shot with, my bro? Either the 45 or the 86. I think the 45 was the scariest, uh, especially because I'm the only one who doesn't get to sit up against the barricade, <laughs> even though we're like 20 feet below dirt. But uh, I will say this, there's something weird about the lag time of the 8.6, the, the t to unlike the 45. Like, does that make sense? It makes total sense. There's a, uh, it's like you're just waiting to die. Yeah, yeah, and you hear it coming and then you won't hear it anymore really quickly. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 100% tell the difference between the types of bullets. Oh, for sure. Between the modern Spitzer versus the typical old style bullets that you have, like they each cut the air differently and make a very distinct noise. This is something that was hard to tell with these supersonic rounds because quite frankly, you're primarily hearing the crack. But with these subsonics, man, you could definitely hear the way they were cutting the air. And the 8.6, dude, the, I think it's due to that rotation because it's that half million RPM. It just made the weirdest fucking sound as it came through. I think the whole experience, like if you were on the receiving end of that in real life, besides getting shot, it'd be pretty cool to hear it. It'd be super cool. And also, um, we really have to give it to 8.6 and 300 Black. I would be really hard pressed to tell precisely where the round is coming. Actually with 8.6, I can kind of tell where it's coming from sure. because of the noise, but 300, nah. I, I would be like, be like the SpongeBob. Like a deer. A doubt, oh, under the street light? <laughs> Go the other way. No, he's going the other way. <laughs> Without a doubt, 300 black wins. Oh, for sure, yeah. Oh my God. Oh yeah. We are at the end of the video now. How was it shooting at me? Oh, exquisite. I have so much uh, pent don't, up rage. Don't let him get ripped through that <laughs> take because that was real right there. He was just pumped. ready, to, ready to rip it off. Hey, you know what? Um, I got a lot. I got a lot of things I want to say right now. Yo, take off your say it. fight. How did Mike get put on uh, 40 pounds of lean mass in under six months? It's crazy, dude. I drink a lot of milk. <laughs> <laughs> 40 pounds of lean mass? That sounds completely natural to me. <laughs> <laughs> a really good time. If there's something we could say, um, with all these videos that we're doing, with as much as we fuck around, right. um, it is important to know what these different rounds sound like because it can tell you a lot about the type of weapon that you're being shot at with the uh, skill of the shooter, for example, the difference between supersonic versus subsonic, if you're getting shot at by 300 subs, uh, you got you got something coming at you. Yeah. You got, the na average dude typically isn't rocking 300 subs. Those are typically some type of serial match king round. Those are yeah. expensive. What, what do you gotta say? I don't have a 300 black half. <laughs> that's, a, that's a death that, trooper round, dude. That's a death trooper round right yeah. there. So something to think about if you're getting shot at from really far from 22, these are all good things to know mm. for no particular reason, because certainly there's no scenario which people get shot at or need to know this information in order to uh, you know, justly fight against a tyrannical XYZ. Yeah. Government. Tyrannical atropia, right? Exactly. But the point is, guys, get training. Hopefully you can incorporate some of what you learned today into your training. As always, we love you guys. Uh, do you want to tell them about your channel, where they can find you? Yeah, you can find administrative results. You're unmasked now. I'm, I'm unmasked. Yeah, yeah. If you're wondering where so the this is like followers. a big spoiler alert. That's admin. <laughs> hey, Charlie, what's up, dude? <laughs> Holy shit! I never, I never liked that guy. Anyhow, we'll go ahead and we'll end with our favorite part, which is dad advice. Aaron, what is your dad advice for today?
I'm guessing thick traps, bro. I've been working on them for a bit, man. Yeah, Thank no you. problem. Hey, start out working out young, okay? Your physical fitness, young <laughs> Don't men. Don't do it. Your <laughs> physical <laughs> fitness is going to be paramount. It's the instantaneous, as how people can see whether you have good discipline or not. When you walk into a room and you have a good physique, you become undeniable. And you also become more attractive to the ladies. So go make good families, have a bunch of kids, and be in physically good shape. You know what's crazy? It, it is a you race. You buy a Lamborghini. Can't buy a good body. Can't That's buy, true. Can't yeah. buy a bod. Yeah, you, you can buy nice teeth, but you can't buy like abs, or pecs, or steroids.